Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Life by the Bow. Oh yeah, six and a half hours later mm -hmm. and we've made it to Crystal River. That's right, as you guys can see, we got the Pathfinder on the trailer back there. For those of you that don't know, we absolutely love Crystal River because of its fantastic scalloping mm -hmm. in the springs. It's one of our favorite things to do, one of our favorite places to visit here in Florida. And we'd like to thank Undoes It for sponsoring this video. And we hear that the scalloping is really good this year. It's been slow the last two years, so you guys have a treat for you today. Exactly, but if we keep on talking, we won't be able to catch them. So let's get out there. Let's see if we can catch a couple. We're bringing you guys along. Let's go. All right, guys, just got the boat in the water and it is absolutely filthy. So, as I mentioned, this video is sponsored by Undoes It. So before we actually get out there and start scalloping, I have to clean up this boat because it is just filthy from road tar, dirt, bugs for our six hour trip up here to Crystal River. Um, today we're gonna be using their boat and RV wash. And I absolutely love this stuff just because it's a concentrated formula so you don't have to use a lot of it. It's biodegradable, phosphate free, chlorine free, ammonia free, and hydrocarbon free. So it's safe to use here out on the water. Another thing that's awesome is it doesn't remove wax or polish. And this is something that's very, very important on your boat is your wax because wax is ultimately what's going to protect your boat. It's gonna keep that shine. One last thing, it's safe for absolutely everything. You can use it on gel coat, wood, windshields, plastics, rubbers, whatever you desire. But we're just gonna finish up cleaning up the boat. And as soon as we get done with this, we're gonna head out to the scallop grounds and hopefully it's as good as they say it is. We just came up out of the river and I absolutely love the run because it is just so scenic. That old Florida landscape to me never gets old, especially being from the Keys. You just really don't see something like that too often when you live on a rock. But anyway, we just got out here. We're on the scallop grounds and basically the way that I always find the scallop grounds in Crystal River, I come straight up out of the river into the Gulf of Mexico and then head south and look for the seagrass. The seagrass is where these scallops live and it is just so easy to catch them. Um, the hardest part really is finding good bottom that's holding a lot of these scallops. So when I say good bottom, I mean good luscious seagrass. But we're gonna anchor up the boat, we're gonna get in the water, and we're gonna start doing what we came up here to do, scalloping. I'm so excited, so let's get to it. Bitted the water for about a minute, already have four. Previous years, we would get four in like an hour, so. People weren't playing around when they said it's good this year, so that's a start right there. So I just hopped in to confirm that we got a good scallop spot. Oh yeah, so all I've 
got to do now is I am just using some mass defogger because sometimes it's very frustrating when you're trying to get as many as you can and you can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my defogger on and I'm just rubbing it in and hopefully that'll help me get some more scallops. Get some? I got some! So you gotta be careful, like you can get pinched by them. Yeah. Ah! I just got pinched! It's not a bad pinch though. No, it's not, but still. Just a warning. As a couple that loves to fish, we spend a lot of time out on the water. And we have just as many unsuccessful fishing trips as we do successful fishing trips. And that's something we absolutely love about scalloping. Every single scalloping trip we've ever been on has always been a successful scalloping trip. There's nothing more rewarding than showing up to a spot and catching exactly what you're after. But as easy as it is to scallop, we've picked up on a couple things throughout our years of scalloping just to make it that much easier. If you notice, as the current flows, the seagrass will lay over in the direction that the current is flowing. What we like to do is swim against the current, that way it's easier to look inside of the seagrass to find the scallops as you're swimming along. Now, another thing to note, is these scallops camouflage very, very well in the seagrass. So what we like to do, rather than looking for the shell, we look for their electric blue eyes. The contrast of the blue up against this dark green seagrass is almost always a dead giveaway for the scallop. So those are some things that we always like to key in on in order to find these scallops as easy as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed all those facts about scallops and scalloping. However, we have about a gallon, I would say, which is more than enough for us because we eat seafood all the time. Not to mention, it's pretty exhausting <laughs> swimming around there. So, you know, a gallon will do just fine. Yeah, before you know it, you move the wrong way and your leg starts cramping up and you're <laughs> You realize, you're like, holy crap, I'm tired, and I didn't even realize it, but that just goes to show. It's just so much fun coming out here and doing scalloping in the first place. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a little move. We're going to pull the boat up on a beach. Stephanie's going to make, what is it, ceviche or salsa? I'm going to make a mixture of the two. I'm going to make my own thing. It's called salsa. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming that's a mixture between ceviche and salsa with our scallops. So, let's go ahead, let's make a move, let's do it. Check this out guys, we found a little hidey hole on one of the islands here in Crystal River. Stephanie's right here cleaning up our scallops. Oh yeah. And she's gonna tell you guys exactly how to do it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make like a brine, like put some ice and water in a bucket and let your scallops sit in it. And what it'll cause them to do is sit open. That way you can go ahead and just peel back all of its um, insides. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove 
all of this brown, all the guts, everything, and it should peel back quite easily. And then you're left with the actual scallop. This is the edible portion that we want. You could throw that for the fishes to eat, but make sure that these shells come back with you and you dispose of them properly. So at our hotel, they have a dumpster designated just for scallops. That's right, and we actually- Or the shells, the, the shells of the scallops. Yeah, we actually found on the grass plot that we were scalloping on today, somebody had cleaned their scallops out there on the water in the grass, and you guys don't want to do that. The reason why is because the shells will fall to the bottom and they'll actually kill the seagrass. And the seagrass is absolutely imperative for the ecosystem out And the there population of, of these scallops. scallops. Yeah, yeah. pinfish and everything else that lives in the grass. So, like Stephanie said, you guys want to make sure to hang on to those shells and dispose of them in the dumpsters. But dang yeah. girl, you're doing a good job right there. Oh yeah, I got my handy dandy nails. <laughs> Didn't bring anything else. <laughs> and we got your nails, thank God. <laughs> So we made it back up the river. There were some storms brewing for a little while. I was getting a little nervous there, but it cleared up and it is just absolutely beautiful right now. Another thing that's awesome about Three Sisters Springs is we get to pull a boat right up to it. Mm -hmm. Then you swim through the little bars. You gotta watch out because you might get knocked in the head by a kayaker, but- <laughs> Or a snorkeler. <laughs> or a snorkeler, but things seem to be a little slow today. The sun's nice and high. The weather is hot. It is beautiful and these springs are cold. Yeah. So it's like when you jump from a hot tub into the pool and back into the hot tub. So it's just so refreshing, it's so beautiful, but we're going to pull up in there. We're going to show you guys around. I know I made a joke saying I was making chavalsa, but I'm just gonna explain really quickly what we did add. We just added some tomatoes, onions, and green peppers, and lime juice. And then we add, of course, our scallops. And so we just made a ceviche really quickly. And how does it taste, Clay? Absolutely delicious. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Personally, this is my favorite thing to do with scallops because mm. in order to make a meal out of scallops, you have to catch a lot of them. And it's just Stephanie and I, yeah. you know, we're out here merely just for enjoyment of catching scallops. It's not about the actual scallop, it's about the process. Mm -hmm. And we're successful at that, you know, springs are always successful because they're just so beautiful. It's so refreshing to just hop in that cold water and then just get out into the scorching heat. It just feels amazing. Crystal River is amazing. The landscape is amazing. Being here with my wife is just amazing. It has been a really good time. And also, I feel like this year, since the last few years we've been coming, this has been the best scallop year that we've had. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are looking to go scalloping and you're interested in Crystal River, I would definitely suggest going this year and um, we hope you guys enjoyed the springs you guys need to check those out even if you don't have a boat they have land access to get there so check that out rent a kayak go on in experience it for yourself it's amazing mm -hmm. and we didn't see any manatees but hey just getting in that water was, was all, all worth it 100 mm -hmm. but 
We love you guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to get your own does it products in the video description below. But until next week, see you guys then. Bye.